Hi, I'm Deborah Mybrick and I'm with Pio Tessere from Barolo. Pio, you make Barolo from many different villages. Why not just one? Well, because the old, we are an old traditional family. We make Barolo since 131 years. My family has been among the pioneers of the production of Barolo in the second half of the 1800. And the classic traditional way of making that fabulous wine has always been from the beginning to make a melange, to make a balance of different single vineyard locations among the Barolo region, to make together a Barolo that has to be the essence of the whole entire terroir instead of one terroir. A great wine, in order to be a great wine, and Barolo is definitely a great wine, is a wine that has all the different elements balanced together. And in Barolo, the color comes from a certain area, the intensity comes from another area, the longevity comes from another area, and by blending the different areas together in the fermentation vats, we can really create a Barolo that is the essence of the entire area. And this is what we have done for 131 years, and this is what we are committed to do now, and this is what we are, will be committed to do in the future. Now your style is quite traditional. What do you think is the future for Barolo? I think that Barolo has a tremendously bright future. Um, you know, when, uh, when you start to be a wine lover, you like big, full, robust wines like Cabernet, Merlot, or Shiraz, or Syrah. Then you slowly move to other varieties, and then you finally arrive to the ultimate two varieties. Pinot Noir in Burgundy uh -huh. and Nebbiolo in Barolo. Well, then I'm so and glad. Once we get there, you never forget it. You never stop. I agree. I'm so pleased I've arrived in Barolo. Thank you, Thank <laughs> Thank you, you so much. Thank you.